Okay, my hand is going to come more of a semicircle this way. That makes this more aggressive, so this doesn't have to do all the work. Okay, you just have slow motion. Slow motion, yeah. Always with the band, slow motion. Snap. Okay, so snap more. Reset. Snap more here. Okay, and less with that. We don't want to pull with this to get the uh, knob around. Okay, we want to tighten the cord. And if you snap here, you'll feel the pull in the cord. Okay, so snap in here, hip and elbows. Okay, then we can start the turn with the top hand. Snap. See that? Relax this. Okay, snap here. Get that hip going first, then the snap. So hip, hip first. All right, when the hit, sorry, I'm being really cheeky tonight. With the hit, when I say trigger the hit, it's not turning it, okay? It's dropping down, getting your weight on the toe, like that, yes. Yep, snap, don't push, snap tight. Now turn, turn with the top hand. There you go, better. All right, yep, don't turn it, yep, just shift, there you go. Snap, not with the shoulder. All right, now turn. Better. And I know it feels awkward, okay? It's just like, like I told you, it's not really mechanical type. It's what part of your body are you using to get the knob and the barrel around. Right now, to get the knob around, you want to use this by turning here. But look what it does to my backside. It kind of weakens my backside a little bit. So instead of using this, the hip's going to go, and I'm going to use my elbows here. That's where you feel it in the core, okay? Because the core, by the core being tight, that's what allows this to stay kind of in. Okay, it's going to turn a little bit without the hips going with it. Tight. There. Now turn. Now turn. Turn, turn, turn. There. Much better. Good. Turn. Not bad. A little bit of a pull. Much better. Better pull. Turn a little bit. There you go. Relax this. There. Turn. Not bad. Do you feel it at all? A little bit more. Okay, good. There you go. Much better. So that's going to let your backside do more work instead of the front shoulder pulling it through. Better. Yep. All right. Let's try a few more. Yep, and once, that was really good, that last one. And once you do that snap here, okay, now it's top hand. Turn and turn and turn and turn and turn that way. Yeah, I look good. Does that feel different? It looks like your extension is better like that. You're not pulling across your body. And I'll definitely help with the inside kitchen. I'm telling you, I wish somebody would have taught me this when I was in college. I might have. Avery Martin graduated two years ago at Hoco, and now she's at Valdosta State, and her daddy helped coach with us some last year. Uh -huh. And that's exactly what he was trying to explain to me about turning like that. And I didn't really understand what he was saying, but now I see what, what he was talking about because they completely changed her swing. Yep. It's, I'm telling you, this was not – nobody ever taught me this turn, and I think that's something new. I think it stems from the baseball swings. And baseball and softball, the swings are so similar. They are very similar. Yes. Right. Off each other all the time. Ten years ago, everybody quit hitting down on the ball. Yep. They quit that crap. Yep. And now we swing like this, and they're psh, like J.C. Harrelson, yep. 13 home runs, you know, mm -hmm. sophomore, yep. just crushing the ball. It's crazy. It just, it's all I say. You're going to hear me say it a thousand times. It's all about using the backside. When your front side starts doing too much, that's when it just kind of falls apart. You just don't have as strong or controlled swing. Yeah.
drive it or drive it down, okay? Snap and turn. 